Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Max, released in the year 2015. At the beginning of the movie, it is narrated that dogs have been used by the US military since World War I. Over 3,000 dogs have served as soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. The protagonist of the movie is one such dog named Max. At the beginning of the movie, Max leads the US military soldiers to a settlement in Afghanistan. His handler Kyle follows behind him while the rest of the troop tries to communicate with the villagers. With Max's help, an illegal store of guns and other weapons is found inside one of the houses. The villagers had been selling them to the terrorist organizations, so the find is a huge one for both Max and Kyle. After a hard day of working, Kyle returns to the base and calls his parents in Texas. The family also loves Max and treats the pet as their own child. Kyle's teenage brother Justin, however, is not fond of the dog. Like a typical teenager, he is rebellious and doesn't like when people praise his brother too much. The following day, Kyle's superiors bring his troop for questioning about missing weapons. Someone from their group is corrupt, but the officials are still to find out who. Kyle knows that it is his best friend and fellow soldier, Tyler, who is stealing weapons to smuggle them back to the States. He confronts Tyler on their next field trip, but Tyler asks him to keep his mouth shut about the matter. Max is yet again leading the troop. He stops midway, sensing danger, but Tyler asks him to keep going. Because of his carelessness, Max walks right into the trap set by the locals. Several explosions take place around him and Kyle runs to save his dog. He shouts for Tyler's help, but Tyler doesn't move from his position behind the rocks. In the shootout, Kyle is killed, but everyone else survives. Back in Texas, Kyle's father Ray is disappointed in Justin for being irresponsible. As the two argue, some officials arrive at their house to inform them of their son's death. The family is devastated by the news. At Kyle's funeral, the soldiers bring Max so he can say goodbye to his master for the last time. Since Max doesn't follow anyone's order other than Kyle's, he has become hard to control after his death. He sits under Kyle's coffin and is clearly sad. When the soldiers try to take him back, he retaliates. However, he seems to recognize Justin. With Justin's help, the soldiers get the dog back to the car and send him away to a shelter. Justin is now back home playing video games like usual. He is bothered by his brother's death and blames his father for sending him to the military. They get into yet another argument when Justin's mother Pamela informs them that Max is about to be put down. The family visits him in the dog shelter and finds out that Max was so connected to Kyle that after his death, he has become traumatized to loud noises and hostile to people. Since he is no use in the military and too dangerous outside of it, they have decided to put him down for good. Max only follows Justin's order, so the family decides to adopt the dog for him. At home, it is too dangerous to put Max inside the house, so Ray ties him in the front yard. Justin is not so happy about being Max's babysitter, but he does it anyway. At night, Max doesn't stop barking and howling. The family, along with the neighbors, are troubled by all the noises. Justin reluctantly goes outside to calm him down, but Max doesn't let him leave afterward. The next morning, Justin wakes up in the front yard, having stayed with Max the entire night. Following that, he goes to see his friend Chewy. Justin often pirates games on the internet and sells them to his friends. He does the same that day as well. He also meets Chewy's cousin Carmen, who happens to love dogs. When she finds out Justin is having troubles with Max, she offers to help him train the dog. Before she comes over to help, Justin puts on nice clothes and does his hair. He clearly likes Carmen and wants to use the opportunity to impress her. Using Carmen's tricks, Max learns to walk alongside Justin by the end of the day. Pamela invites Carmen to stay for dinner. She gets emotional about Kyle's death while talking and makes everyone uncomfortable. As they eat, Max begins to bark aggressively. Moments later, the doorbell rings. Justin opens it and finds Tyler outside. It turns out that he was injured while in service and has returned home for some time. Ray and Pamela are happy to see him and invite him to the 4th of July parade. Pamela brings him out to see Max, thinking that the two will reconnect. However, Max gets very aggressive on seeing Tyler. He even manages to break free from the leash and attacks him, but Justin and Carmen stop the dog at the right time. 
Tyler stares at Max in anger, knowing that the dog knows his true motive. The next day, Max is much friendlier with Justin, so he brings him to the bike park. Carmen is nervous about Max being off leash, but Justin assures her he will be okay. They ride their bikes through the woods as the dog follows behind, maintaining the speed. Later that day, Justin returns home and sees that Ray has bought a cage to prevent Max from attacking people like yesterday. On the 4th of July, the family is out enjoying the parade. When the fireworks start, Max freaks out because of the noise. Justin quickly returns home and tries to bring him inside the house, but a terrified Max refuses to come out of the cage. To calm him down, Justin gets inside the cage with him. Tyler starts to work with Ray at his storage unit facility. On being asked how Kyle died, Tyler lies and claims that the dog went against Kyle and attacked him. Saddened by the death of his son, Ray now wants to take out all his frustration on Max. He returns home and points a gun at the dog when no one is around. Fortunately for Max, Justin stops Ray before he shoots. He leaves after warning Justin that the dog will be put down if he messes up one more time. The next day, Justin goes to the establishment where Max was trained by Kyle. Kyle's good friend and soldier claims that Max was a very good dog and he couldn't have attacked his trainer. Justin also finds out that Tyler didn't return home because of an injury. He is confused as to why he would have lied about the matter. Following that, he goes to Carmen's house with a DVD of Max being trained. On watching the video of Kyle and Max together, Justin is sure that Max couldn't have been the cause of his brother's death. Just then, Chui's criminal associate named Emilio arrives at the house asking Justin for the pirated game. As they talk, he gets a call from Tyler which makes Justin suspicious. After Emilio leaves, Justin makes Max follow his car to see what is his business with Tyler. They eventually reach a place in the middle of the woods and see Tyler meet Emilio. With them are Italian gangsters who are buying guns and weapons. Justin quickly figures out that Tyler is smuggling guns from Afghanistan and selling them to the gangsters. The gangsters also have two dogs to guard them who hear Max's bark and chase him. Justin tries to run away, but Max is attacked by the dogs. He manages to overpower both of them and the two escape without being caught. When Justin returns home that day, he is surprised to see Tyler and his business partner Deputy Stack at his house. They had found Justin's bicycle in the woods and realized that he had seen them with the guns. Deputy Stack has an injured hand which he falsely claims was bitten by Max. Because Max is a danger to everyone, they will now have to put him down. Justin knows that the two are lying, but Tyler asks to talk to him in private. He threatens the kid to keep his mouth shut about what he saw. A scared Justin agrees to not tell anyone for his and his family's safety. Later, the people from the dog shelter take Max away. Tyler returns to work at Ray's storage unit. Ray confronts him about a storage room that has been occupied without paperwork. Tyler is currently using it to store the guns, but he claims that it is being used by his friend. Meanwhile, Max is taken to the shelter, but he attacks the dog handlers and runs away to his home. When Ray returns home, he asks Justin what really happened with Max and Deputy Stack. He is suspicious that Justin is not telling them the whole truth. He repeatedly asks the kid what is wrong, but Justin stays silent. Ray then returns to the storage unit at night and finds Tyler and Deputy Stack bringing out the guns. At first, they try to make an excuse, but soon realize that their secret has been out. Hence, they take Ray hostage, planning to kill him after the deal is done. Back at home, Pamela gets a call from Ray saying that he will be staying at the hunting cabin for the night. She is confused because they do not own a hunting cabin. Just then, Max arrives at the house again. He and Justin go to Chui's and tell him about the situation. Following that, Max leads Justin, Chui, and Carmen to the place where Ray was taken. After a while, they reach a secluded area in the woods and see that Ray has been held as a hostage. Carmen runs back to call the police while the guys keep an eye on Tyler and his gang. The enemy dog again smells them nearby and attacks Max. Tyler and Emilio also walk towards Justin with an intention of killing him, while Deputy Stack stays with Ray to keep an eye on him. As soon as the two are alone, Ray attacks Deputy Stack and manages to free himself. After a long fight, Max also defeats the enemy dog and runs to Ray. 
The father and son finally reunite, but Tyler is still on a pursuit to kill them. To distract him, Ray separates from his son and runs in the other direction. Deputy Stack follows Ray in his car, but Ray shoots him, causing his vehicle to crash with an explosion. In the meantime, Justin and Max are running away from Tyler, but he catches up to them. He points his gun at Justin and expresses his frustration. He wanted to end the deal peacefully, but now everything is ruined. Tyler is about to shoot the guy, but Max comes to rescue yet again. He jumps on Tyler, making him fall off the bridge and into the water. Max is also injured in the process, but is safe. Carmen arrives with the police some minutes later, and both Max and Justin are rescued. In the following scene, we see Justin in front of his brother's grave. He thanks Kyle for giving him a buddy like Max and salutes him for the first time. When he returns home, he is welcomed by his mother and Carmen cooking Mexican food together. Chuy is on the couch playing video games. It is revealed that Carmen and Justin are now dating. When Ray returns home from work, Justin asks him about Max's cage. Ray says that he has sold it because it is about time Max stays inside the house like a family member. The movie ends as the family happily prepares for dinner. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.